Hey guys, what's up? It's Colton Stone here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play the piano part to Boot Up by Ella May. So this is how it goes. Okay, so before we actually get into how to play this, I want to talk a little bit about the sustain pedal. So I'm using that pretty heavily throughout the entirety of this song. Uh, basically, the only time I'm letting up on it is when I go to change chords. And uh, other than that, it's staying down to give it that nice, full, fat sound that you get when you use that sustain pedal. So keep that in mind as you're playing this. And let's go ahead and jump right into the notes that we're playing. The chord that we're holding down in our right hand is going to be this A flat major 6 chord. So we're playing A flat, C, E flat, and then F, that 6th degree on top. In our left hand, we're going to be adding in the note B flat. So there's a few different ways you could analyze this chord, but I just think about it simply as an A flat major six over B flat. I think that's the best way to think about it. Um, it's the simplest way for me, at least. Next thing we're doing is we're going to do this walk up in our right hand. So the walk up goes something like this. So my right hand, all I'm doing is I'm playing that. A flat and C that I started with and then I'm just walking that up to A flat and D flat at the same time I'm gonna be doing the same rhythm with my left hand here playing on that B flat note all right the next chord that we're gonna be playing is going to be a B flat minor in our right hand so we have B flat flat and then F so it's just in root position and the note that we're going to be holding down in our left hand is going to be G flat crap altogether this is making like a G flat major 7 sound so you have G flat as the root B flat's the third D flat the fifth and then F is the seventh degree in that chord. So at this point in the song, we can add in a little lick in there, which is something that LMA actually sings. So if you're backing up a vocalist, you may not want to do this, but it may be kind of cool to echo what they're doing or just add it in there. I think, you know, if you are musical about it and use it in the right way, this sounds really cool. And that's to add in this little... Crap. <laughs> add in this little... So as I'm holding this chord down, all I'm going to do is I'm going to play D flat, B, F, E flat. So as I said, this is something that LMA actually sings. So you may not want to use it in every scenario, but it can be cool to kind of spice up the song when you're going to play it. So now we're going to get into some trickier stuff here. Uh, we're going to have this like turnaround. It's like a 2-5-1 turnaround, but the, the actual voicings of it and everything like that isn't what you would typically expect to hear from a 2-5-1. So the chords are... Here's our first one. Second one. Okay. So you can hear that it's, uh, it's kind of got a lot of tension and a lot of pull to it. So really quickly, let's analyze these chords. Our first chord that we're playing is going to be a C half diminished. Okay, so if it was a full diminished, we'd be using the sixth degree of its scale. It'd sound like that. But this one's going to be half diminished, so we're actually using the minor seven instead of the sixth degree. In order, the notes are C, the flat five, which is G flat, B flat, which is the minor seven, then E flat, which is the minor third. So this is functioning as like a two in a minor key because the two in a minor key is always going to be half diminished. The next chord is a little bit more weird. So we're gonna go to this.
which is his weird augmented chord. Um, augmented chords are built off of the whole tone scale. So if I played the whole tone scale for you really quick. So just moving up in whole steps the whole time. Uh, this is the sound you kind of hear in the older TV shows when like someone's going into a dream sequence or something like that. Or I believe there's also like this Tom and Jerry episode where they go into space or something and uh, the whole tone scale is used for the music there as well. So it kind of has this like weird, unexpected, like can't find your center kind of quality about it. So in this song, it's functioning as the five to lead us back to that first chord, but it's not your typical dominant seventh sound. It's got a little bit more of a pull. It's just, it sounds a little bit weirder. So the notes that we're gonna be using for this chord are gonna be F, E flat, A, D flat. We're getting that pull from F to B flat, which is a five to one. So that's the five to one sound that we're hearing. And the other notes that we're holding down, if you just like quickly analyze it, you can see that they're like a half step or a whole step away from all the other notes that are leading us back to our first chord. So it's basically just creating a bunch of tension. It's a bunch of half steps and whole steps that resolve really nicely to that first chord again. And at the end of that turnaround, we're just gonna go straight back up to the top and repeat it again. So now that we have all that down, I'm just gonna hit a few of the faster parts, the parts that you're probably gonna have a little more of an issue with at a slow tempo so you can practice those. And then I'll play the song up to speed because the song itself is actually at a pretty slow tempo. So I'm going to play that slow for you. Here we go. All right, let's put it all together and let's play the full song. Right, guys that's it for this song it actually just kind of keeps repeating that over and over so that's basically how to play the full song if you did enjoy this video please remember to like subscribe comment you've heard all of this before but i can't stress how much it actually does help for us as youtube creators to put out more videos and get our name out there and everything and it's free also don't forget to follow me on instagram at colton stone for all the latest updates when i post new videos and of course i got some instagram exclusive content of me just playing around and stuff like that that you can check out over there so i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you next time peace